No, we're cooking with bunker sea lads. Some people in no in the comments. Best comment section on the inner tubes. Refuting some of my assertions and adding more knowledge to what we need doing. So we need to be able to not only control the pressure of the uh, intubator. No, not the intubator, the ventilator. We also need to control the amount of air go air oxygen mixture going into the lungs. We need to control the input pressure into the lungs as well as the peep or peak. That is the um, exhalation pressure. We also need to add a cycle once or twice an hour, a psi function where it inflates the lungs even more and uh, deflates them. That's a natural part of respiration. So with that, I've decided to omit any kind of electronical tomfoolery that is with uh, pixies and software and so forth. I mean, it's so easy anyway. Anybody can just whip up a little pipe, right? <laughs> so I've been told. But we're going to make it even simpler because I am laboring under no delusions that anyone is ever actually going to use this. However, in times of strife, times of trouble, you forget what you can't control and you take care of what you can't control. What I can control is building a contraption that in the end of days... If and you need to be intubated, maybe this is possibly, you know, the last resort. Also in the comments, uh, maybe some noobs coming on, not realizing that I uh, swear like an actual human, uh, a cuss, uh, taking me to task on that. But the thing is, I will not, I won't infantilize you by speaking in a commercial tone, a, a, a advertiser-friendly tone, because... There's fucking people dying. Like, quite frankly, you know, I'm in my little bunker here. I'm going to be okay. But old folks and so forth, somebody's losing. At this very moment, somebody's losing their nana or their, their granddad. You know, it's, it's a rough thing. Where was I going with that ramble void of care? I will not infantilize you by bleeping out cuss words because everybody knows what the cuss word is. So what is the point of bleeping it? It's just for commercial reasons, and I find it insulting. It's insulting to your intelligence. It's, insul it's just dehumanizing, essentially. So if I don't want to swear, for instance, I make videos with my dear sweet daughter, Chickadee, I just don't swear. It's like a toggle switch. But I will not bleep stuff out. So f if you can't handle that, fuck right the fuck off. Here's the Mark II featuring amendments by the smartest bunch of scumbags on the Internet. You. <laughs> so we're going to control the volume with a simple flow control valve. It's going to go over here. And we also monitor the volume by measuring how much it, or the water in the receptacle rises. We control the pressure supplied to the lungs by adjusting the water column. If we want 30 centimeters of water, we just fill, obviously, it's a little small. I get that a lot. It's a grower, not a shower. But you can control the pressure thus wise just by adding water to the bag, which is weighted to the bottom. And then on the outlet, it goes through a nice warm, in this case, ultrasonic cleaner for those ultrasonic healing bubbles. But we heat the water up in a bath and then there's no direct connection through. It's all sealed up, of course. We heat the water up that moisturizes it and heats the air charge, incoming air charge. This, of course, would be mixed with oxygen in much the same arrangement, but you get the idea. It's the uh, same, same, only different. And then out the backside, now the valve itself over here is controlling the inlet pulse and also the outlet pulse. And what we do for peak pressure to maintain some pressure in the lungs so they don't collapse is we have just a, a little, what you call that, for uh, making beer one of those little burblers, a manometer. So the amount of fluid in here, if it's five centimeters on this side, it's got to move up to 10 centimeters. That means that there is 10 centimeters of H2O back pressure in those lungs so that the little alveoli don't collapse, the lungs don't collapse, and we make sure they don't burst because we're controlling the pressure with a column of water. Huh? Huh? And we'll just burble this in. Well, there we go. We will see the water rise. 
to the desired volume. And this is just a timing issue. So we want, uh, I don't know, five, 10 breaths. You can adjust all that as well without a confuser. So there we're at the level we want. Now we actuate the valve. Oh, oh. this valve. Unfortunately, it needs a back pressure of, it needs a minimum pressure drop of 1.5 bar, 20 PSI. Otherwise it doesn't work. I'm just going to, I'll put another valve in there. Just a manual one. Once again, for the second time. Oh, uh, granted, this is a little rough. It's good enough for the girls I go out with. I added some water there. Just so the bag was fully enrobed. And it's inflating. Maybe inflated a little faster. Here we have the patient. As I said, it's a stand-in. And we just open that valve so we get the proper timing so we get the right volume for when it's ready to chooch. And then we actuate the valve. And then when we actuate the valve, because the patient is now pressurized, he's going to exhale. Gonna push that water He's going to, uh, the timing's a little bit of a, timing's a little off. Maybe got a little bit too much water in there for the amount of head pressure we have, which is apparently fuck all. I need, <laughs> need a higher column of water. I've reduced the exhumation pressure, exhalation pressure, ex yeah, exhalation pressure, and got a scientist's fuck it bucket here. Gotta be quiet here. This is uh, not normally allowed to steal my wife's material. She gone to bed early, so never mind that buzzing. A few little pixies leaking up here. That might affect our accuracy. Oh, and also we have to close the valve. Not to worry. I'm used to messing with my blow-off valve single-handed in the dark. Yes, it's the same old jokes, but I can't miss an opportunity. Okay, so now we're gonna allow the patient to exhale. And if there wasn't so much leakage here, that would uh, blow off there and then we'd aerate all the kind of virus particles and stuff, but we could use a UV filter or a UV and also some filters. I found a field expedient filter Probably only cost twice what a proper HEPA filter cost. And you put the UV in there as well, kill everything. So, field expedient, very simple. Uh, tidal volume control, psi control, just manually. The pressure in control by controlling the uh, height of that column. And the pressure out, the um, exhumation. You know, you don't want your, your lungs to collapse. So you need a little back pressure in there and you control that just by the height that the air needs to push this water column out in order to escape oh yeah and also moisturize and tenderize so thanks for watching keep your dick in advice